Hello, 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 hello. How is my audio? How is my microphone? I, I, I've heard it. It's kind of buzzy, I feel, lately. Anyway, <clears throat> here I am with Boar Tales. This is a, uh, a kind of a press demo that we got. The embargo's up, um, but I've, I've been very, very busy. And I've heard this game, <laughs> the runs in this game can be hours and hours long. Um, and it is, I think it's a roguelike card game, but the runs are, are huge. I'm super excited to play it. Let me get it up on the screen. It's not popped up yet. Let me get it up on OBS, on the old OBS. OBS. Please. Come on, baby. Let's just give it a second. It's not, it's not wanting to grab this for some reason. Uh, we might have to go like this instead. Which is a little bit annoying, um, because it grabs my whole monitor, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, the first thing anybody notices about this game, surely, it's the first thing I noticed anyway, is the incredible art style. How friggin' cool do all these characters look? Not, I mean, the art style, but also the theme, right? The Rat King, with like his broken, messed up shards of a crown. Like the elephant dressed up with like, like Maid Marion, you got this, this brute gorilla they're just so cool looking it's like a robin hood-esque world it looks like robin hood or in like fairy tales but they're all these um anthropomorphic animals which just look the coolest i mean and then the actual art style on top of that as well let's jump right in let's get to how to play it looks it could get quite complex if it's going to take that long to do a run maybe it's because the game's pretty challenging we'll see um, but yeah, like I said, the, the embargo's up, but the video's not going to go up until a little bit after that. Um, however, the demo itself, this demo, I believe, is not going to go live until like the 20th of June. And today, it's not even June yet. It's the end of May. Um, so I still have a little bit of time to get these up. And it is a preview, so link below for uh, a write-up of all the things that I, you know, th that, how I feel about the game. Although, you know, I'm sure I'll go over it in this video as well. So, list of all hints. Roll over the different visual elements of the board. You'll get some contextual help. That's excellent. Uh, quest card. You can't play a useless skill card on those. No risk to waste them. That's a confusing sentence. Hints of the effect for the current card. One victory point, that looks like. In a board game, that means a victory point. Laurels always mean victory points, so I don't know what that means in this game. Uh, and it looks like you can swap a castle. Hostile taken must be removed to play on the card. Rest deck recovers some of your skill cards a limited number of times. Skill cards, play them on any highlighted targets. Um and can be played for no effect on locations to move forward. So I think it's entirely a card game. The the same way that maybe Cultist Simulator works, where we're actually just placing down cards, maybe not on the same kind of timer restrictions and stuff, but we're placing down cards, and we even place down cards to move forward, and then maybe all the cards on the board will move away, and new ones will get played down, and now we're in a new location. It's going to be like Arkham Horror, the card game, uh, if anybody <laughs> has ever played that. Adventurous, track your health points, track your remaining cards, and trade a card in your hand with your reserve. So we do have like a, a sidebar deck, a, a, a side deck, sidebar, <laughs> we have a sidebar, we have a side deck. Um, inventory cards, play them on any highlight targets, can't be used to discard location with no effect. Can't be used to discard location with no effect to move forward, okay. Okay, that was a pretty bad how to play. Let's jump in and, and see if we can give it a go. That was not useful, really. All right. Ooh, that's good water. Water is the king of, of drinks. Still. A mysterious patron. Volpain needs money to help his father and the local miners. His friend Leo says there's someone in town with a very lucrative job offer. A mysterious patron. All right. I also, I've noticed the lighting here and how it over time it moves down as if you're actually like sat on a table with a window there and it gets darker and stuff. It looks freaking cool. Um, welcome to Four Tales, an adventure game where you progress by combining cards and exploring decks. So we have three options here. This is it. Volpain, our ticket to the easy life. One last job. That's Leo, obviously. Lion, Leo. Um, one last job, and our days of stealing apples from the market are behind us. 
So that's why you said the last time. Who's this contact of yours? What's this guy called? His name's Timothy. He says he has work. Uh, he has work for people like us. And you're sure he can pay? Because I could really do with the money right now. Don't worry. He promised a hefty reward. Should be more than enough to help with your father and the miners with their strike. Ah, that's uh, you're, you're that character. Um, Volpain. I thought it was this guy because that was the picture we had. And for me to take an early retirement. He's just a little difficult to track down in town sometimes. We better ask around. A typical region of the game is composed of three to six location cards placed on the board. You can learn more by hovering over, uh, covering over them. Sometimes clicking them will also trigger some dialogue or a reaction from your characters. Try it out for yourself. Click on the left card with the beggar. He will remind you of what he wants. Good day to you, young bird. How may I, can I be of assistance? We're looking for someone by the name of Timothy. Ah, I see, I see. A very secretive fellow he is. Uh, I think I heard something about him the other day, but sadly my memory isn't what it once was. Right. I might jog... What might jog your memory, I wonder? A bite to eat usually does the trick. About five food should be sufficient. We only have one in hand. Five? That's enough to last a few days. Ignore my friend here. We'll come back with some food for you. Okay. We have archers. An aimed shot. A deadly shot in combat. Can also take out enemies from a distance. Damn. The sight, sound, and smells intermingle. Okay. Apple merchant. Don't be fooled by his jolly banner. He's as gossip as he's merchant. Let's go to him. Apples, fresh apples. No, my cinema, nothing. Guy, I've got to stop saying that out loud. Let's. Nimble hands. When you. Ah, uh, so we can steal. And this is solidarity of the weak. The poor, the weak, and the needy must stick together to survive. Eavesdrop. You've got to eavesdrop in the marketplace, for sure. People keep mentioning a tavern nearby. Food, drink, good company. What more could a strapping young adventurer need? Excellent. Noisy tavern. The perfect place to get some rest and recruit, recruit fellow adventurers. Stay a while, listen closely. You might just hear something useful. I think... A little bit of nimble hands to steal some of these apples. Plus three food. Might be very good. Smooth, he didn't notice a thing. One very important rule to remember, you can only play one card per location on the board, okay? Sometimes it will transform the tag card into another location, but most of the time it will just consume it and travel to the next card, okay. A standard used card of the board will go back to the bottom of the exploration deck, and once the slot is available, it will automatically be filled with the top card of the deck. You can't run out of location cards because they always cycle. And now I want this again, eavesdrop, so we can hear... In, in this place, because it said it's a noisy tavern. Mm, now that's interesting. Sounds like there's a private room under the tavern. Ah. And what's in here? A clandestine spot for the discerning criminal. Drop the right names or hand over the cash and you'll usually find what you're looking for. We only have a little bit of money. Um, This is grim. Theft, murder, violence, and lawlessness. So we don't have much grim. We don't have much fame. We only have a little bit of food. A little bit of money. A deadly shot. We could take somebody out here. We don't want to do that just yet, though. But Solidarity of the Weak could work here. Because we are shifty. Let's try that out, shall we? Care to help a young bird down on his luck? Help with what? At least one of your adventurers has only a few skill cards left in their deck. Yeah, because we're not using we're not using the arrows. Um, maybe you can use the rest deck to recover some more. If you spread... Oh, I didn't, I didn't read that damn... Can this show me? Um, if you spread the effort between them, they won't have to rest as often. Yes, but this guy wants to kill. I can swap it, I guess. Um, survivor sense. There's food everywhere if you know where to look. Rallying cry. Call to arms. That's really good. Oh, the scent. He is in the wilderness. Out food and places of interest. Let's get survivor sense. We don't want to be in the poor district, but let's try and get some food from here. Can I discard one of these cards to move forward? You've just used a skill card, but the effect was only to move to the next location. Yes, that was on purpose. It's not the most efficient way to travel, but skill cards with no effect on a particular location will at least remove this card and move to the next card. Yes. If what you need for a mission is to reach a card somewhere in the exploration deck, moving forward is actually useful. 
just try to use a skill card that you won't need too much in the near future when you do that. And I did. Keep in mind that you can't do that with an inventory card. Those can only be used if they have an actual effect on the target. What's next? Ooh, there's a fight here. Beware, a hostile token blocking the card you won't be able to play until you get rid of the bandits. If you click the token, you can see the creatures forming the group and decide whether to engage or not. Most confrontations start with a negotiation phase. If you have the correct resources, you might be able to discard the threat without any violence. But if you don't absolutely need to play here, you might as well try to avoid any conflict. No. How about I murder you and I get some gold? Ooh. I get a lockpick, a gold, a creature in the graveyard, and two to the search party. No. I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to kill this weasel. Can I not kill him? Ah. Here are the enemies watching this location. I'm going to go for it, because we haven't been into a fight yet, and I'm not sure what that's like. You've started... Oh, you know what? I need to turn this up for you guys, I think. Turn, turn me down a little bit, I guess. I think I'm a bit too loud. The music's not much, but it's nice. It's very... You see? Get rid of enough opponent. Oh, what did it say before? Um, if you use an aggressive card, the competition will automatically turn into a fight. If you don't have any cards to play or don't want to play any cards, click the auto battle. Okay, let me uh, let me see what all I said. Maybe there's no need for violence. Rolling over cards at your disposal, you may discover ways to get rid of some of your opponents. Uh, get rid of enough opponents, bring the morale of the group to zero, and the rest will flee. If you use an aggressive card, it'll automatically turn into a fight. If you don't have any cards to play or don't want auto battle, this is auto battle, I guess, and this is morale token. This is going to do aimed shot. A deadly shot can also take out enemies from a distance without raising an alarm. And it's going to give me something as well. Three scratch. I don't know what scratch does. Play any number of non-aggressive cards. I don't want to do that. I could rally potential allies immediately. Boost. Yeah, engage combat. I'm going to do that. From now on, both sides will automatically attack the opponent directly or to the left if no one is directly in front. So in each round, you can play one card. Again, if you don't want to play, you can use the auto battle. Right. I think we can claim that as self -defense. Yep. And then I'm going to murder you as well. And you should run away. Well, I wanted to kill you. You've brought the enemy morale to zero. All remaining hostiles now flee for their lives. When you trigger a panic, each fleeing enemy will grant you one fame point, whatever their level. So it's a fame point. Friend, eh? Excellent, excellent. And now we've got a new card. We're a little bit lower on life, but I think it was used well. Gold coin lies conspicuously. It's obviously a trap. What do they say? Sick Pavis Magnet? Okay. On the Sen. Survivor sense. I could get a gold, get a food and a gold, and move to the next location. I want the food. Well, would you look at that? And we are a survivor, so it shouldn't be a trap, right? You'll never stop if you know the right places to look. I think we've got enough food now. Let's see what this guy knows. Lead the way. Ah, what are you? Hold well, or make a quick wish. I don't... I could put a money in there and get some fame. But first, let's 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 go to this guy. Story effect. There's your food, monkey boy. Oh, thank you, young bird. Now about this Timothy chap. Of course. Where are my manners? Here, follow this path. That should show the okay. Okay. Thanks for the tip, friend. A good day to you, bird. Well, now what? Uh, I suppose we should follow the old beggar's direction on that piece of paper. Sometimes you'll have to seek directions to progress in the story and reach new destinations. Check the descriptions on your cards. Same street. I don't know what you did to wind them up, but... <laughs> but, um, I will absolutely chuck a gold coin here. We'll get a fame. Good spot to refill our canteens. We'll get some food. We'll lose a coin, but we will get... I wish I was famous! <laughs> Very nice. And we're back, back around to the marketplace. 
Directions to Timothy. We can use it on the marketplace, which seems good. All Volpe needs to do is find the nearest marketplace. <laughs> We're the best. Ooh, a heavily bandaged figure stood alone in the alleyway. He looked like he was waiting for someone. Oh, as Volpain and Leo approached, the figure turned to greet them. Ah, Leo, so you're finally here and you've brought a crow. I'm a shoe bill. But of course you are. We heard you have work. Do I ever. But before we get down to brass tacks, I always like to get an understanding of who it is I'm working with. What do you mean? I'd like a demonstration of the value you'd bring to this operation. Demonstration. Yes, you know skills, my boys. Show me your skills. The pair looked at each other perplexed. What did he mean, skills? Skills in combat, sleight of hand, or maybe just a good old trick shot from Leo? Ah. The card in hand will always highlight. Where we, uh, try hovering over it, yep. Nimble hands. Pepper diversion. An aimed shot would be nice. What does this give us here? A lockpick and a throwing knife. I think I want that. Now this could come in handy. I want that. And then I'm going to... Uh, we're back up in the bat. Oh, and we got another one as well. That's great. Only got two cards left for him. So we're going to use an aimed shot here. We want Leo. In one seamless motion, Leo pulled out his bow and let an arrow fly straight at the leper. Ooh, <laughs> this, guy, this game's cool, man. Timothy felt a whoosh of air as the hat flew clean off his head. By the time he turned around, it was already pinned to a nearby tree. How's that for a demonstration? A little dramatic, but a fine shot nonetheless. Timothy turned around, picked up his hat, and placed it carefully back on his head. Well, I've certainly seen enough to pique my interest. Then perhaps you could tell us what it was you needed. I would like for the two of you to acquire an item for me. A very rare and beautiful liar currently in the possession of Lady Cattell. You mean that old bat who lives on the hill? I wouldn't call her that to her face. But yes, <laughs> that's her. I'd like you to break into her manor, steal the liar, and bring it to me at the Holy Grove. The Holy Grove? I know that place well. I'll get you there, my I'll get you there myself, Vulpin. Excellent. Then I shall leave you to it. Alright, we've got a job to do. At long last. We can get straight to it if you think we're ready to go. Or we could spend some more time in the streets to prepare. It's your call. Each rest has its own set of effects and can sometimes a price that you can decide to pay or not. Read carefully what they do. Go on, click the rest deck and try to use the first rest card. I don't want to do that, but okay. I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to go continue. I don't want to just waste... I know it's the first time and I need to learn the game, but... I still want to do well. Somewhere in the garden, Leo has brought Volpe into the city gardens where food is plentiful and secrets lurk around every corner. Deep in the labyrinth lies our hero's destination for the evening, Lady Cattell's Manor. New... Location. Ooh, and the rest deck is way different because there's guards now. Ooh. There are now several hostile creatures in the search in, a, in the search party. A deck of cards representing animals chasing your party of adventurers. Each time a new location card appears on the board, if it has a search party call token with an eye, it may spawn a group of enemies coming from there. Some of your actions may also add hostiles to the search party. Hostiles that you may have to face later, so be careful. Right then, Timothy said the instrument's inside the manor. The big house with the labyrinth? That's the one, but getting through the hedge image is going to be tough. I think I saw some gardeners wandering around earlier. Maybe they'd know the way. They look like gardeners, but... Right. Who called the cops? Volpan decided it would be a good idea to attack the... And this is a rustic. Oof. We have a lockpick to break in. We have a throwing knife. We don't want to kill this guy, the gardener. We want to speak to him. Can I help you? One can get lost in the gardens. Can I give you some food? No? Oh, I can heal with food. Could give him money and bribe him. Minus one fame. I'm going to give him a bit of money. You know what? A good deed can have many doors. Having the respect of the community is a good way to achieve your goals. I 
think that's the right way to go. A little help? Sure thing. We have the gardener. Now all we need to do is lead the gardener to Labyrinth and the rest should be easy. We'll see about that. Okay. Have a look around there. Ooh. Damn it. The Vegetable Labyrinth. Tells man is surrounded. Yeah, I hate Labyrinth. I think you're not amazed by them. <laughs> Can you just save the jokes till we're done with this? Gardener. Here. We have an appointment with the lady of the house. Will you show us the way through the maze? I've trimmed these hedges many a time. Follow me. That's quite Whoa. It is quite a statue. Whoa. What is it? Sorry, sirs. I'd rather not go any further. What? Your series? We're barely halfway. It's this statue, sirs. Bad luck it is. Haunted. The gardener backed away from the statue nervously, leaving Volpin and Leo alone. They had to admit it was rather a foreboding sight. Great. Shh, I think I hear a guard patrol coming. Quick, hide! Took a position right in front of the statue. Patrols we can deal with, but how are we going to find our way through the rest of the labyrinth? There's got to be a map somewhere around here. How do the gardens find their way in or out? Maybe you're right. Let's circle back and see if we can find a map. Greenhouse, patrolled garden, or the orchard. Greenhouse seems to be more useful. I'm almost certain I can see a map in there. Well, only one way to know for sure. Can we interact with any of these cards? I'm going to swap one of these out. I'm going to get Rallying Cry again. And we're going to go here. Okay. Here are the enemies watching this location. They're pretty weak. It's just this guy here. Engage. We don't have to do anything right now. You might be able to grease their palms on this one. We could, but that's quite a lot of money we're gonna lose. This guy only could. That guy has an attack of two and a health of two. Hmm. That guy likes food. Fame is pretty good to use. Grim. What does this give us? Consume two Grim and then we become corrupt. Okay. Because we're kind of bullying them. What are you going to give us? Interaction effects. Pickpocket. We're going to get food off that guy because this is... This is going to confuse you. Uh, send front creatures with max level to the one to the search party. Stun the other creatures for one round. That's pretty nice. Peppery Diversion. These guys are going to run away. Discard, yeah. So that is... What is that, though? Solidarity of the weak. Okay. I think this is a pretty great use of this card. Immediately gone. What, giving up so soon? And we get a fame. Look, I can see through... Uh, that guy has... Some cards left, though. Just a couple. You can see through the do some documents through the glass. Think they'll be useful? Only one way to find out. Let me see what I can do with this lockpick. Uh, Good job we got that lockpick, eh? Uh-oh. Look! This looks like a map of the labyrinth. Only the last part of the maze. This is the only part we need. Perfect, let's go back and follow the map from the center of the labyrinth. But we can't do that whilst we're... Those guys are here. We're going to have to engage them at some point, but we may have to grease some palms here. We don't want to take... This is a lot of damage, you know what I mean? 4.5 is quite a lot. This is another diversion I think is pretty awesome. Two people are gone straight away, and we're going to stun somebody. I think it's probably the best thing we can do. Again... I'm going to do it. We lose two morale and two guys instantly. One guy gets stunned and then we only have to deal with these. Right. Rallying cry. Survivor sense. On the scent. Hmm. We could... 
Go to get rid of some fame. It's a lot of fame, though. Money. We don't have the money. We could use three fame to get rid of this strong guy here, to be honest, because we don't want... The bird's low on life. Actually, so is he with five. Rallying cry might be nice, but we're kind of in the middle of an enemy location, so probably not the best idea. I think I am going to... Do this. This guy's only attacking for one? I thought he attacked for two. Ah, that's because of... I used another thing, rallying cry. I don't want to take another two damage. Throwing knife. Could immediately do two damage to somebody. Which would be pretty nice. I think I'm going to use some fame here. Get rid of this guy. Leo's going to take some hits. Oh, but they're going to run! I didn't even think about the morale. That was awesome. That was a perfect use of that. Okay, great. Alright. Because then we recover two fame anyway. Alright, we've got directions and what we're waiting for. Let's go. If I'm reading this right, we should be there in no time. Good thing, too. It's almost night time. Perfect timing. The darker, the better. That's Lady Cattell's manner. Finally. And maybe that's uh, that was the hard part. It's all downhill from here. Wishful thinking. It's getting dark. Time to get down to business. Hold on a second. This could be our last chance to rest up. I need my nimble hands at the ready. Sometimes your adventurers won't have their best skill cards in their hand, but don't worry. At any time you're not in combat, you can trade a skill card. We've been doing that, yeah, yeah. Just drag the card above them and choose a new card. If the card is unavailable, you can get it anyway for a cost of one food. It's a little expensive, especially considering you have uh, rested to regain several cards at once. You could have rested. But the cost of resting can also be pretty high, so be careful not to burn through too many skill cards by trading them. I think this is the last chance to rest. Rest cards can be used to recover some skill cards. Don't dawdle too much because the last rest card is always a synonym of game over. Recover up to three skill cards per adventure, but a small troop of guards is added to the search party. I think that's okay. That's okay. That's quite a lot of them, though. Right. Perched atop a hill is Lady Cat uh, Cattell's cavernous manor looms over the town. Okay, well, let's move forward, shall we? Ooh, what do we get here? Healing balm and healing plants. Let's do that. Let's get this, this pretty well stocked. Want to make sure... That's pretty awesome. And there's nobody here. We could get three food, which is also very useful. Two food. Let's get three food. Keep that for later. Um, thorny bushes. You like scratches? If you go this way, you're going to get scratches. We don't want to go that way. This is how much? Two heal and three heal. I think we're okay for now. One more fight, though, maybe. And we won't be looking too good. Oh, I mean, we could, like, almost be full, both characters, with these two things. Do we just go for it now? Before we go into the manor? Let's do it. Let's do it now, before anything bad happens. Right, we don't want the fame. What we do want is, yeah... Nimble hands. Story effect. Can we not use this to go? No, we have to use nimble hands. Alright, let's do this. Do what you do best, I'll cover the exit. Under the cover of night, Volpane ghosted into the manor undetected. He darted through the corridors until he reached the main hall. There, in plain sight, stood the lyre in all its splendor glinting in the moonlight. All he had to do was reach out and take it. The second he touched the mysterious light, oh. Volpan felt an ancient power flowing through him. Reality fractured and exploded into an infinite oh, no. of worlds. All identical and yet somehow distinct. Beyond the webs of fate, he witnessed all possible futures resonating, vibrating, clashing. Then he saw and he knew. He, his loved ones, his city, 
His kingdom, his world, everything was going to oh, disappear. No. Swallowed up by a cataclysm whose origin lurked behind the veil of possibilities. The second he touched the relic, the sheer power of the visions caused Val Volpin to collapse on the spot. Leo took his unconscious friend on his back and fled the mansion, an army of guard at his heels. Hang in there, old friend, we'll get through this. I'll deal with the guards and get you to a safe place. Volpin? Volpin! You've completed this mission with a few victims in your graveyard deck. But now it won't change anything, but be aware that if you leave a trail of bodies behind you, you may have to face the consequences later. Nice again. Victory. The relic. Volpain awoke in the forest of Ronsere? Or Roncare? Ronsere. His head throbbing. The liar was on the ground beside him, but Leo was nowhere to be found. <gasps> Leo? Leo! Where is he? What happened? At that moment, he remembered the visions. The transfer. Before he had time to think, Volpin was struck with a vision of his friend in prison. A wave of despair swept over him. Leo, where are they taking him? Are they going to execute him? Oh, gods, please, no. This is a Doom event card. It symbolizes tragic events that only Volpin can see, and that will lead the world to its end. The number above the Doom event indicates how many turns you have left to prevent these events from taking place. By changing the course of the tale, each mission you complete costs a turn. But don't worry, if you fail to complete a mission, you can always retry with no time penalty. I need to help him before it's too late. They must have locked him up in Eisenberg prison. Oh no, they're taking the tiger... <laughs> Eisenberg. <laughs> They're taking the lion to Eisenberg. Uh, this is a mission card. I know it's Eisenberg. Don't at me. This is a mission card. By selecting it, you will see its objectives and will be able to start it. The choice of which missions you complete and in what order is crucial to preventing doom events from occurring. Missions also contain secret side objectives and choices to make that will change the way the next ones unfold, all leading to different results. It's up to you to experiment and make the right choices to fight fate. I'm coming, Leo! Wait, what the? The militia onslaught? Volpin was struck with another flash, the smell of blood, the clash of metal, the roar of a battle, a vision of a massacre yet to come. The miner strike! Father! The militia are preparing an attack on the blockade. Lady Cattell must be behind this. I have to warn them or they'll all be slaughtered. The sh if I'm going to warn the miners, I'll need to find their leader cast. They won't budge an inch without his say-so. God, what have I done? It's this damn instrument. Volpain looks at the strange liar with disgust. I wish I'd never touched the blasted thing. No, it's a, it's a superpower, dude. It's helping you prevent these things. Maybe if I give it back to Lady Cattell, that might smooth things over. After all, a fault confessed is half redressed. Negotiate. If I write a letter of apology and present it to the Council of Mothers, they might be able to put pressure on Cattell and prevent her from ordering the massacre. Volpain looked at the liar once more before packing it into his satchel. Slowly, painfully, he dragged himself to his feet. All right, Volpain, you can fix this. He took a look around in an effort to get his bearings. Bearings? To his left, he saw the fumes of the city rising above the trees. To his right, the silhouette of the Ferris Mount, uh, Ferris Mount shrouded in the acrid smoke from the mines. Better get moving. Your adventure begins now. Make your own choices and discover their consequences. Welcome to Four Tales. Okay. Well, holy crap. Wow. I can see why it takes so long to do a run. This is my thoughts, okay? Negotiating is one thing, but the thing is, we're, 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 you know, we're the voice of the people now. We can see the future. The people are going to be attacked. Why should Lady Cattell have the power to see the future and alter time and events. It's too powerful for the corrupt government to have. So now we have it. We are not going to be negotiating. We will fight with the strike, but first we need to free Leo. So we're going to get Leo. He's going to help us with the strike leader, and then we'll move on from there. We will not be negotiating unless we find out some new information. Negotiating is... Is not good for the future of, of the city, for sure. The prisoner. The theft of the relic did not go as planned. Leo was in jail and Lady Cattell was out for revenge. Leo wouldn't last long in shackles. Volpe needed to break him out, and fast. 
good thing that we're the rogue. Choose your companions. I don't have any right now. I'm going in alone. Find a way in. The city watch is holding Leo in the local jail. Volpe needs to find a way to res inside to rescue him. Time for a prison break. Hell yeah, time for a prison break. This is going to cost two coins. Leo's locked up in there. There has to be a way in. Yes. I have a friend in there. I was hoping to pay him a visit. Visit? What do you think this is? A bloody retirement home. Perhaps we could come to some sort of, uh, of an arrangement. Well, perhaps if you arrange for me to get five money, I'll forget I ever saw you. Five? Where am I going to get that from? Oh, now you're in for it. Right. I could nimble hand some food from this guy. What does this give me? Add one creature to the search party. Not good. We could get money here. Food and gold. Let's get a food and a gold immediately. Ooh, shiny. We stole it from the well. All right, let's get Bambi. Uh, small crowd. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but it never fails to draw a crowd. We could nimble hands there, but we're going to get a Grim. Ooh, because it's poor people we're stealing from. Yeah, we don't really want to do that. Solidarity of the weak, though. What does this give us? Local chit-chat. But does it move us? It does move us to the next location. Ah, but it's nice. Because it's a local chit-chat. We might be able to use that to bribe somebody. One gold or something more utility. Let's go for something more utility. We don't have much time because we only have one character now. But it's something that may be very useful to us. Ah, bandits. Lovely. Local chit-chat. Okay, so we can bribe that guy for some food. I can use my fame to get some... I can use food to get money. He sells it. I can sell it to him or the marketplace. So if I can get one more money... One more food. I can actually steal food from that guy and sell it back to him for quite a quite a profit. This is gonna add a creature to the search party though. Here, there is a money on there's one money on the floor. Let's see who's here. There's way too many of them. We don't want to deal with that. I do have the peppery diversion though, which should probably Step away. What does peppery diversion do? It, it like gets rid of two of them, so it might immediately be useful. I think... Let's... The marketplace is good. This guy is a good place, somewhere good to steal from. So, and if I steal, it's also going to move him. So let me... I don't want to buy any food from him. So I might as well sell to him. Sold. <laughs> and then, ooh, I said, you scamps no way inside the prison? Besides getting arrested, sir. Yes, besides getting arrested, Simba. Or like, or Scar's Kid, what's Scar's Kid called? I can't remember. Uh, no idea, sir, but you could ask around the other kids. Most of our parents have been in the clink at some time or other, sir. There's a hidden entrance, someone must know about it. Maybe some street kids or shady locals could help. There we go, local chit-chat. I'll tag along to hear the rest of the story. Right, and now I've got a kid. Street urchin. Knows how to attract attention. He's pretty good at hurling rocks in a fight. Not exactly what I wanted, to be honest. I do need two food if I'm going to sell. What I can do is if I go here... I get food and a fame, and I can sell those two food for two gold back. Well, no wonder you're Wish I was famous. Give me a fame. Increase my fame, and I get enough food. We don't want more local chit-chat. We don't need more fame, to be honest. Or do we? Let's get one more fame. 
And then we'll sell this food. Oh, we actually got... That wasn't fame, it was gold, goddamn. Well, let's sell the food to a... Uh, to this guy again. Oh, this, this one, because we can steal from him if we really need to heal. Good. A good price for those apples at the market. Not a bad price. Now we have the money we need and some to spare. Okay, show me the way. There we go, you see. Now we found them again. Over there, it looks like there's a way in. It's in the deck, though. So we could pay that guy to get in. Or... Let's do this. The more of the inventory we can use, the more of our deck we can save, you see. And we're getting more fame. We've got two street urchins now, so now we've got a little bit more help. Very sneaky. Just how we like to do it. Let's go. Hold on, Leo. I'm coming. You may continue whenever you want. Do we rest now? Refuse, uh, spend six money to buy a throwing knife, a healing balm, and a lockpick. Cover up to three skill cards. S Understood. I want an extra gold then. I do want to try and get an extra gold. Can I get... I can get two food from you. Just for a little bit of fame. That's going to be useful. But I want to be able to sell it. I always have to give free samples to the locals. Come on with the marketplace. I think I can... Can I use anything here? Because I'm going to rest, so it's okay. I want a gold. That's a gold, my nimble hands. And I do have two of them. So let's do that. I want the gold because I definitely want to get a lockpick. Shiny. Right. And we are going to rest now, so it's all good. Do I want to get... Two gold, four fame, damn. Give these guys a little bit of food. I think that's a, a really nice thing to do. And it gives us more fame, which we're good with. A good deed. Goes a long way. Well, thank you, kind sir. You are very welcome, children. Repairing a little bit, that's all. Fame. We don't need to sell anything else. We'll keep this. We've still got two street urchins that can help us out. We're going to spend and rest. Because a throwing knife, healing bomb, and a lockpick is so good. Spend and rest. We get three cards back. Cost us all the money we had. But honestly, I think uh, those items were more than worth it. Continue. Free Leo from his cell. Uh, now that he's inside the prison, Volpe needs to find Leo's cell and get him out of there. Now there's going to be a search pie. The prison was dark, dank and foreboding. Mournful wails echoed down the grimy corridors. Okay, let's see what this layout looks like. Guards prowled the halls, eager to dish out a beating to anyone who stepped out of line. Slipping by unnoticed wasn't going to be easy. Big search pie. Ooh. I recognize that tale anywhere. Volpin, I'm in here. I'm coming, old friend. That's a fight, though. Who called the cops? Whoever you are, over here. Let me have this cell and I'll make it worth your while. Oh, yeah, and how's that exactly? I get the sense you're not supposed to be here, yes? I know a little magic trick that could throw the guards off your tail. Fighting the local law enforcement? Doesn't seem like the smartest move, Volpin. Um, Spend and rest. Spend three, for three fame to avoid problems with local guards. Ah. What does that do, though? Avoid problems. I think it just cuts out the search deck a little bit. That's okay. I have a lockpick. Ooh, I can make them run away from the search pie. I can use the lockpick here. But honestly, do I want to do that? An escape prison. Looks like someone escaped their cell, whoever it was. They seem to have the guards in a panic. I do feel like Solidarity of the Weak is going to give me a mercenary. Absolutely. Anyone there? We kind of need some help here. 
All right, let's hack our way out. The oh, thing is, you're in for it. that's fine. That's totally fine. Agitated prison guard. The thing is, I don't want to use my one lockpick because then we're going to have to find another one. This is not going to be that hard of a fight when I've got all these people on my side. So I think we're just going to engage. I think we're going to engage. Because I can immediately knock two of these guys out. This guy is HP 4. What does that do? Invoke in front. Yeah. And these kids can... What's that? Interaction pickpocket. That's quite fun. First, let's divert. <laughs> He's gone. We need... How are you going to get out of this one, They don't attack me back, and they're weak. This guy's not 1.5, is he? Power? Which... How, how do you know what morale they add? Because it was... That guy just took away one. No, no, no. He must take away 0 0.5. He must be... One of these is worth 0 0.5, obviously. So it must be this one. This one must be the... The one. Oh, this one's 1 1.5. And they're both 1.5. But we only need to get rid of one more is the thing, right? So the thing is, I could... F throwing knife immediately. Could even use a little bit of fame to get rid of the strong guy. But that's corruption. Yeah, we don't want to be corrupt. Don't want to be too corrupt. Street urchin would be interesting, but I'm going to get attacked. I'm going to take only two damage, but I'm going to get something from it. And then I'm going to also win the fight. So I think this is a pretty good way to go. I want to get something from that guy. Maybe it's a key. Oh, no, he called in somebody out to the search party. Don't worry. Right. Okay, and now he's going to run away. So that's grim, but that's fame. That was too grim. Damn. Leo, are you okay? Can we talk when I'm out of here? Look for the warden. She must have the key. I don't need the key. That's the thing. And I just pickpocketed. I got some more healing plants. Not the best thing. But. Not you. We're going to lockpick you out here. You got the key? Well, kind of. You can spare me the details. Just get me out. Now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at my shack on the other side of the forest. Got it. I think we did that really well. Like, I think we did it too well, so much that we didn't get to see a lot of the story and a lot of what's going on because we just prepared so well, which is a good thing. But uh, interesting to see if you make other decisions there. What will happen? Fleeing through the forest. Um, Leo is free at last, but the watch will be looking for him. Time to head to the rendezvous point back at Leo's shack in the forest. Okay. <gasps> the sloth. Really do make a lot of enemies, What's he called? Uh, Flash. Or his druid. So I've got to find his house now. Roadside Inn. And I've still got the same cards as well. We're not done yet. Bandit token. I've got to see all these guys. There must be tons of them. This guy. Holy crap. He has no attack though. Launch a firebomb causing two damage to all party every two rounds. That's quite a lot. We'd have to scare these guys away pretty fast. I mean, you'd go down. We could get rid of you. Okay. But the enemies are watching this location. Don't engage yet. What is it? A bandit camp. Well, that's not good, is it, really? Ooh, healing plants. I could give it to this guy. He'll give us a healing balm, which is a little better. Or he could give us a healing serum. Or we could speak to him, see what's up. No, 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 no. We don't want to use... Oh, do it. Do we want to get rid of Grim? We should get rid of Grim. We don't want it, right? It's a bad thing to have. Receive the forest druid. I don't think I want the druid right now. Because I think he's just going to be like a healer. We already have a mercenary and a little kid. We don't want a Grim. Let's consume some Grim and get another healing balm. No need to get violent. That's good. Oh, no, it doesn't. It consumes the grim, but it still adds, it's still in the discard deck, obviously. Leo Shack's on the other side of the forest. Got to get a lot of ground cover. Time to get moving. Okay. Patrolled road. Berry bushes. So I can, like, get food from them. 
Can change location. Just move to the forest druid. Not super useful. Move to the forest druid. Not also not very useful. To the search pie because we're stealing food. Headler. Sounds pretty interesting. We don't want the search pie. Anything else we can do here? We don't have any money. As health is fine right now. I could heal up if I really wanted to. Let's find... Let's go to the peddler. The peddler might have something. The thing is, he's going to have got things for gold, I guess. Fame. But we could use some fame for some food. And maybe he's going to want something. Don't use the throwing knife on him. Local chit-chat, you see. That's kind of what we're looking for. Three money might be good. It's pretty mean. But um, we do need some money. We do need some money. I'm going to steal some money from you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I had to. Not long now. Okay. For right. Rest deck. Three food required. Heal up to three health. Okay, we don't really need that. Heal each adventure up to one health and recover. So we're okay. The next rest is pretty good. And we can kind of use it whenever. So let's go here. Ooh, you're quite a bully. What have you got? Power. Call one random guard from the search deck when entering combat. Not good. But let's engage. See if we can do anything before combat starts. You might be able to grease their palms on this one. Right. I think the power is what it reduces by, right? So if I can get rid of them. Don't want to just spend my gold right away. Don't want to become corrupt. Don't really want to kill anybody. But killing people is a good way to get around them. I can stun, knock you out. That'll take us down to 1.5. And then whilst that's happening... I could. Don't use my fame. That's also corrupt, a bit of food. Could use some money to get rid of one of them, but it's also corrupt. Everything is a bit of corruption. Don't really want to be corrupt, but at the same time... Engage combat. I mean, Solidarity of the Weak gets rid of you. But you're going to pull in somebody new, which is very bad. Hopefully it doesn't increase morale. I could stun you. I think stunning is the best thing to do, to be honest with this character. Minus one, yeah. And can I get rid of one of you guys quickly? Or at least I, I think some of them are I'm hurting you. He's going to do that next action, yeah. Pickpocketing is not super useful. I'm going to have to become a little bit corrupt, I think, here. I could immediately kill the dog, but it's also... Then we've got Grim. We've already got a card in the discard pile. Here lie the unfortunates who had to die for your cause. We don't want to kill. We're not bad guys. It's just they're in our way. And we need to sometimes... I think it's better to be a little bit corrupt than to end his life. Let's get rid of him. Consume two fame... And just a little bit corrupt. And then we get another one anyway. Don't know what corruption does yet. We haven't seen it, like, anywhere. But we're okay. Um, patrolled road. Right. Let's move on, shall we? Local chit-chat. Do we already have the local chit-chat? We don't. Give me the local chit-chat. We're going to heal in a second anyway. It's good to have a local chit-chat in hand. Here comes trouble. Yeah, it looks like a watch outpost. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, move to Forest Druid. I thought we wanted to. Damn it, we don't want to go to the Forest Druid. We wanted to go... Move to the next location. So, we're going to have to do that. Come on. Porches in space. Sect meat is a delicacy. Uh, these raggedy bunch don't exactly like the look. Uh, don't exactly look like they have correct hunting permits. What about local chit chat with these guys? I'm going to get the hunter and move on, which is nice. This one is going to give us a bit of food and a bit of money. 
I think I'm going to use my local chit chat and immediately get the hunter and move on. I'll take along to hear the rest of the story. We've done it. Here we are. Leo appeared from his hiding spot, grinning. Volpin, how nice of you to drop by. I'm glad you're okay, buddy. Come inside, I'll make some tea. Home in time for dinner. All right, played well. Once again, I think. Played well. you got to avoid those big combats with when you're a little rogue. you got to sneak in where you can. Right, we have him. So this Doom event should be stopped now. So, how was prison? Well, Ben, you look worse than I do. And I just got out of prison. You doing okay? That liar. It's like it has it whole it's whole it has a hold on me. I'm having these visions. Visions. It's like I'm seeing the future or I don't know, a possible future? Stop tugging my tail. I'm serious. Oh yeah, prove it. When you were in the cell, did you overhear the guards talking about moving you? Well, I uh, yes, they were going to move me to Capybara. <laughs> so what? See, that was part of my vision. Okay, fortune teller, tell me this. Why were they going to move me? Because they never said anything about that part. That I don't know. But whatever it was, it wasn't good. So we've got an infection turning the locals into rabid beasts. A liar that causes psychic visions. Oh, and don't forget a minor strike that has turned into a full-blown siege. Uh, that about covers it so far, yes. The next time you need some help on a job like this, do me a favour and ask someone else, okay? Done. If anyone knows the full story behind the liar, you'd think it'd be the fellow who asked us to steal it in the first place. Timothy? Hmm. It seemed like he was holding something back from us. He asked us to meet him at the Holy Grove, I know the way. Let's see what he has to say. Who knows, he might even pay us. Ooh. This? Gods, no! The visions. Eisenberg? The whole town set ablaze, is there nothing we can do to stop it? Leo, I have to tell you something. What is it, Volpin? In my visions, no matter what we do, Eisenberg burns. Everybody dies. Everything is destroyed. What about me? You had a vision of me being taken away and you changed that. It's so hard to explain. Some of the visions are fluid, like they're in motion. But this one, it's like it's set in stone. Why am I cursed with these visions if there's nothing I can do to stop them? Hey, until Eisenberg is a pile of ash, we keep trying, okay? Okay. Something else happened. If he died, maybe that would have happened. Yeah. I do want to help the miners strike. I do want to, and that's going to be the next thing we do. But right now, I think we need to learn a little bit more about the liar. Absolutely need to learn about the liar. However, that's the end of this video. We've only done two missions, plus the intro mission. So the three missions. Um, but this is friggin' awesome. This is friggin' awesome. The only thing is if you play it a couple of times, you're obviously going to see a lot of the same stuff you can play differently don't get me wrong you could play just murdering everyone you could play um kind of how i'm playing it very stealthy we could have a mix we could have rescued that person from prison so there are a lot of other paths to see but i'm worried about having to grind through the parts you've already seen to get to the parts you haven't seen kind of thing if you play it again but we'll see how that works out because i'm sure the decks are very random as well so that, that'll keep it interesting so far though this is the coolest. I really am enjoying this. I'm very excited to see where the next cards lie. I don't know where this demo ends, which is crazy, because I think already I've got a very good idea of what this game's about, and I think it's very cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to not just do this run, but do a couple of runs as well, just to see what the differences are. But thanks for watching me. Like I said, this, this should be out, I think it's the 20th of June, and preview down below. Uh, look out for the next video. Bye.